Today I'm going to show you how to properly use the filter feature and create filter views in Google Sheets. Filter views in Sheets have a few advantages. For example, you can create different filters on your data set and save these views so you can easily access them later. You can sort your data in a filter view without changing the sort order of your original data set. And if you're collaborating with others and you're filtering your data with a filter view, you don't disturb the experience of your colleagues who might be using the same data set. They're still going to see the complete data set and not the filtered data because you're using a filter view. Let's take a look. With filter, you can concentrate on a specific aspect of your data set. So for example, let's say we have the sample data and we want to take a closer look at the employees that are in the sales department. Now one method is to sort the data set and then just take a look at the sales part, but that's going to change the original order of our data set. Another option is to filter the data set for only departments that have sales. How do we do that? It's really easy. Just click somewhere inside your data set, go to the toolbar here and click on the create a filter icon. We get filters placed right beside our headers. Now in this example, everything works perfectly, but that's not going to be always the case. I'm just going to press Ctrl Z to go back. Let's just assume that I have just some words written here and then I go and do the same thing. I click on filter and my filter icons are up there. That's not what I want. Here it thinks that this also belongs to the data set because I don't have any gaps in there. So I'll just press Ctrl Z a few times to go back. Now if you want to be safe about this and just make sure that the right data set is included, highlight it first, include the headers, and then go and click on the filter icon. You can also get there by going to data here and you will see the filter options right here. Now it's showing me turn off filter because filter is activated. That's going to take it away. When I go back, it says create a filter. Okay, that basically is the same toggle that we have right here. Now with this activated, we can click on the icon on the side of the header and we get these options. The filter options are down here, but notice we also get sort options and we get something that we didn't have before. I'm going to cover this in a second, but first let's concentrate on the filter options. So in this example, I just want to filter for the sales department. I can see the list of my departments here. To select sales only, I'm going to clear the whole selection, click on sales to place a check mark beside it, and then click on OK. That restricts my view to everyone in the sales department. Now notice that the other rows that were in between are actually there, but they're just hidden. The good thing about using filter in this way is also that I can copy this data set. So let's say I just wanted to send this to a colleague. I can copy this go to a new sheet and then paste this and that's just going to paste the filter view. Okay, so let's just press Ctrl Z to go back. Now, let's say in addition to restricting the department to sales, I also want to restrict the salary to everyone that earns more than 40,000. I can click on the icon here. This time, I can't make a selection. Instead, what I want is to filter by condition. Now that condition is that it's greater than. So you can see we have a lot of choices here. In this case, I want greater than, just type in 40,000, click on OK, and we have department sales for those that earn a salary above 40,000. Now let's say I wanted to sort this in descending order. This is something you need to watch out. If you select sort options from here, that's going to change your original sort order. Instead, what you can do is to create a filter view. To do that, go to the filter options here, just click on the down arrow and select save as filter view. What this is going to do is bring up a new interface with these dark borders here. When you see this, you know that you're inside a filter view. In this view, I have the ability to sort without it impacting 
the original sort order. So I can sort Z to A and I get my values in descending order. Now I'm going to give this a name, click enter, and this filter view is saved. On the side here, we get the ability to rename it if we need to. We can update the range. We can see the range right here. We can duplicate this view and create other views based on this, or we can delete the filter view. So in this case, I'm very happy with this. I'm just going to click the X to go back to my original view of my data. Now, here's the great thing about using the filter view. Let's just completely take away the filter on this data set. Now, check this out. I'm going to go here. I see my filter view that I just saved. I'll click on it and it's going to show me everyone in the sales department that earns a salary over 40,000. What happens if I get new data set? Let's just go and test this out. Just add a new person here. Let's see, Lily earns 60,000. Now let's go and activate the filter view, sales department over 40,000. Do we see Lily in there? Yes, we do. Just have to update the formatting of the number so we have a cleaner view of our data set. Okay, let's just go back to our original data set right here. Okay, so let's just remove this. Now let me show you something else. Let's say I want to take a closer look at everyone that has the word manager in their position title. Before I activate a filter on this, I'm actually going to go ahead and create a filter view. To select create new filter view, now I automatically come in this filter view here and I can update my selections. So because I want everyone that has the word manager in their name, I don't want to go and select each one by one. Instead, I want to filter by condition. That condition is if the text contains, I can type in here, the word manager. I'm going to go all the way down and click on OK. And everything is restricted to positions that have the word manager. Then in addition to this, I can also sort the data. So I'm going to sort Z to A based on their salary. I like this filter view. It's something that I might need later on. So I'm going to call this manager and close this view. Now, the great thing about using filter views is also when you're sharing your workbook with others, because whenever you are in a filter view, you aren't impacting the experience of your colleagues. They can still see the original data set as it stands. But if they need to take a closer look at any of these views, all they have to do is click on it and they jump to that view. One other thing I want to show you is the ability to filter or sort by color. So I'm just going to activate filter on this data set here, click on salary and go to filter by color. Here we can see fill color is activated and I can see white and light blue. The reason I only see these two colors is because that's the only two colors that I currently have here. I can filter on this and take a closer look at this data set. Now let's just go back. If I happen to have another color in there, so let's go with orange here and let's also update the font of one of these to red. I have the ability to filter by that new color because I see it right here. And I also have the ability to filter by text color. Now, in addition to filtering, you can also sort by color. So sort by fill color or by text color. But just remember that if you use the sort options when you're in the main view here, that's going to impact your original sort order. But you can use these safely inside a filter view. OK, so that concludes our tutorial on the filter feature and filter views in Sheets. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you want to find out more about my Google Sheets course, check out the link in the description of the video. Take care of yourself and I'm going to see you in the next video.